female gametogenesis occurs as oocytes undergo meiosis in conjunction with a surrounding layer of follicular cells, epithelial cells from the ovary, and the entire structure is known as the follicle. Meiosis in females actually begins before birth as oogonia divide to become oocytes, and these primary oocytes actually begin meiosis prior to birth. However, they pause during meiosis one and will stay in this uh, paused state as primordial follicles uh, throughout decades. Every menstrual cycle, 20 or 25 primordial follicles will then continue their meiotic divisions from the point at which they had paused prior to birth. They will become primary follicles and the primary follicle which grows largest fastest will become typically the only secondary follicle to develop in any one menstrual cycle. This secondary follicle makes its own estrogen, and so therefore when the FSH from the pituitary decreases, it can maintain itself, unlike the other primary follicles which are not as developed. This secondary follicle will develop a space known as an antrum, which will fill with a follicular fluid. And as this enlarges, it becomes the large vesicular follicle, which can appear like a blister on the surface of the ovary. It is this vesicular follicle which undergoes ovulation, releasing the secondary oocyte and surrounding follicular cells. Much of the follicle does not leave the ovary with the secondary oocyte, but instead transforms into the endocrine structure, the corpus luteum, which will make the hormone progesterone, which will maintain the uterine lining. If conception does not occur in a menstrual cycle, the corpus luteum will uh, degenerate into the corpus albicans and ultimately into scar tissue. At this time, FSH will cause a new group of primordial follicles to develop into a set of primary follicles as the menstrual cycle begins again.